welcome welcome back everyone we are live uh, on the thursday evening exciting show indeed exciting show do not uh, miss this amazing show that's about to happen today um invite your friends invite everyone guys uh, we are about to learn we are about to be cryptographically empowered uh, so yes uh, invite your friends uh, everyone here guys bring everyone on this stage bring everyone here let's uh let's uh let's uh let's hear what we have today Yes, uh, we are live here at Tempa Crypto TV. We're talking uh, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, real estate, building a property portfolio through cryptocurrency market and network. So yes, uh, do invite your friends, share this live broadcast to everyone in your circle. Tell them uh, we are back with a bang. We are back with a bang. And uh, as usual, guys, uh, let's say something on the comment section. Let's uh, engage on the comment section. Do say where you're watching this live broadcast from. Tell us uh, where are you coming from. Let's uh, let's engage, guys. Let's talk. Let's let's engage. And uh, for tonight's live broadcast, uh, I'll be hosting um, one and the only crypto legend who's been in the space, uh, I'll say for some time, but she's done massive things. She's done a lot in the crypto space. So yes, uh, please help me welcome um, one and the only Tembi Shilenge, the Porsche crypto queen. Tembi, how are you? Good evening. Um, I'm good. How are you? I'm super. I'm super. Um, glad to be here with us today and the yeah, second also time to be given being the with opportunity. us here. Yes, yes. It's now home. Ah, great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, you... You've been working hard and uh, it's back in 2022. How's it going with you? Please give us a, a little bit of an introduction before we move on. 2022 already we've done amazing big things. Um, normally people are used to, you know, when it's a bad day, we'll now see popping off a new car and stuff like that. But this, what, this time... I shocked them with a surprise, so I just pull up a brand new house, a brand new house in Harte PS for like three million rents, which I bought it on my birthday month, but it was after my birthday, yeah. So this time we did things differently. We yes, I'm a property mongol, I buy properties, but it's a norm that on my birthday I normally gift myself with a machine, stuff like that. But this time I 
I did things differently. I went for a house. So yeah, that's the way I bought my brand new three million house in um in Hartebius in the island estate, which I'm now living at. Um I'm almost approaching two months now in the in this new house. So yeah, it's that's a short highlight of 2022 so far. Amazing. Already you're starting with the bang, starting 2022 yes. uh, by buying a property in one of the best locations, in one of the best, best uh, um, locations. Expensive estates, yes. Uh, look, um, they, that's, that's the best way to start the year. And just by doing that, it means the next 12 months are going to be amazing it's going to be hectic it's going to be amazing it's going to be very productive so we are we're looking forward to bigger things which we're going and to be uh, look, them we, we saw you the interview we, Christoph, we saw you having a um a huge passion on the on your birthday tell us about your birthday what did you get down onto on this this year, you mean this year's birthday? I did not do much. I just invited a few friends who went for a spa massage. Um, and I also did my bedroom, you know, lingerie set up photo shoot with 100 bunch of red roses. You know, I just spoiled myself differently this time. Um, I normally travel overseas when it's my birthday. It's either I pull up a machine or I travel overseas. But this time I did things a different way. So. Firstly, I did my photo shoot in a bedroom. I did a lingerie photo shoot with 1,000 red roses. Then later, I invited a few friends. We went for a spa massage. We did like a kind of picnic there. And then some few weeks later, I pull up a brand new house. So yeah, we're now waiting for the housewarming. So I'll be doing a housewarming pretty soon, hopefully this month end. So I'll be inviting my friends for a housewarming in Hartebius. Christopher, uh, we are hosting Tembi Shilenge here. She's here with us uh, talking uh, uh, real estate, cryptocurrencies, network marketing, how she, her journey has been from the beginning up until where she is today. So she is going to narrate to us the po proper portfolio, how she has managed to grow her proper portfolio um and where she's going her dreams so yes uh we gonna we gonna learn today this is going to be amazing please share this live broadcast to your friends to everyone invite them uh we are live here let's learn let's grow and let's make it together all right um tembi um there is your property tell us about this property where is this property and uh uh, what's your interest on this property? Um, this property is in Pretoria East Vivini Estate. I bought this property in 2019. Um, when I bought it, the aim was to to make it a home. Like I was still staying in the wood. I was still living with my parents at home. So when I bought it, I'm like, okay, I want to move out from home. I want to start being independent, living in my own property. But at the same time, my my activities were just too much. I was busy traveling abroad, you know, network marketing business. I was uh, doing presentations left, right, and said. I was ha hardly in South Africa. So I couldn't really get enough time to just, you know, move into the property, start finishing it. So one of the one of the developers who helped me buy it, he's like, oh, it's been three months now. You bought this property and it's empty. Why, why don't you rent it out? I'm like, I don't want to rent it out. I want to move in. But at the same time, when I look at my schedule, I don't have time. I'm busy traveling and I'm not even staying with my son. So for me to just move in into this big property alone also, I was going to feel a little bit lonely. So I later decided, let me rent it out. So it's currently being rented out also and is bringing an income of 19,000 every month. So I bought it for 2 million in 2019. It's a three bedroom house in Pretoria East at Vivian Estate. So it's a three bedroom house. And yeah, it's a three uh, bedroom it, house. Uh, you bought it in uh, 2019. Was it your birthday present or you just uh, bought it? I did randomly. I, 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 I wanted to move in, you know, I wanted to, 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 to relocate from, from the wood. So I bought it as I'm going to be staying here, but I things changed. Like I, I couldn't stay there because of my movements and, you know, 
busy traveling abroad, my activities and all that. And for me to move in alone in such a house, such a big house, so I, 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 I would feel very lonely. So the property developer advised me to, to rent it out while I'm still deciding what I want to do. So yeah, up to this far, it's still being rented out to the property and it's in Pretoria East. All right, tell me how much bond are you paying on this property? How much bond? No, I don't pay any bond. The property was bought cash and carry in 2019 for 2 million rents. I have titled it for the property. Wow. 2019, how old were you It's uh, in 2019 <laughs> when you, you bought? I, I believe this was your first property. Is it no, no, so? no. It wasn't. It wasn't my first property. I've been buying properties in the wood. Like I've been bu buying um you know uh undeveloped properties and i've been renovating developing them into you know um bachelors like backroom rentals and stuff like that i've been buying wood properties like properties in the location like around uh, around the wood i've been buying like i would normally buy an rdp you know renovate it modify it and start building rooms and you know it's this is not my first property i've been buying properties since 2017 wow interesting indeed um yes uh welcome welcome to empire crypto tv we are live here we've got uh tembi poshia shilenge here she's sharing uh with us here how she is managed to grow her property portfolio up until uh 12 properties this year um yeah she has just bought herself uh the 12th property and uh, look, um, this is amazing. It's a story to tell. Um, it's a story not to miss. So yes, uh, invite your friends, share this live, um, this live uh, broadcast. Tell your friends that we are live here. Just uh, bring them onto the show. Let them see how the cryptocurrency market is changing people's lives as, uh, as much as uh, it has changed uh, Tembi's life. All right, uh, Tembi, as we go on, we see here is another um, site. You know, it's a land which is being distracted, disrupted, you know, to bring something which is amazing, massive. What are you planning here? What is being um, produced in this, uh, on this site? In this one, um, I'm producing my dream house, my dream home, a triple, triple story house, which was uh, something like eight million rents. So I'm, I'm building it myself. I've been buying properties, but I don't really find what is really suitable for what I actually, you know, I've been buying properties, but from what I've bought, I don't really find something which is honestly my dream. You understand? So I decided let me just build my dream house from from the scratch draw my, draw up my own plan build it how i want it to be because as much as you can buy houses but there's always some few limits here and there so i decided to develop my own so um just to recap you are saying this is your dream house this is your yeah, dream, this home. Is dream house this is what yeah, you're this building is my dream home. and how much yeah, is yeah. it worth can you just repeat that also the value is eight million rents eight million rents eight million rents yeah so when are you when are you gonna pay that eight million rents um is it gonna I've take already... you 20 years to pay that eight million 20 years I'm or not... 60 years <laughs> i'm not i've already paid half of it to the contractor it's a contract I, i'm using a contract um some contractors so the deal was they do everything they're just handing me the key once they're done so i've already paid 50 percent and once we are almost at the finishing stage, I will just also pay the balance and then they just hand me over the keys. I don't want to be going around buying materials. This is short, buy this, this is finished, do this. No, I don't want all this, that stress. So I just said, you do everything for me. Give you the money, you do everything for me. You just when you're done, hand over the keys to me and then that's it. So tell me, which location is this one where you have uh, decided to have your dream house your dream mansion which location is this one this is also hartebius um it's a bedwood estate it's also in hartebius it's next mm -hmm. to the dam so there's a dam at the backyard of my house dam at the backyard of your house yeah so it's a boat cruising kind of situation all right um uh, what does it feel to get into a site which is uh 
being distracted like this, producing something amazing. How do you feel when you come into this site and see guys working, everything upside down, but you know, knowing that something big is coming, something very and big you is own coming, this, uh, you own this production. How does it feel? <laughs> It's overwhelming, you know. It's I, I can't get used to, to the fact that this is what's going to be actually mine. Though I know the land is in my name, the plan is already done, I have it in, in paper, but I, I, while it's still being built, I, I'm still, you know, it's still overwhelming. Every time I go on site, it's, it's too good to be true. Like, it's, it's hard to believe, but I know I've worked hard for this, so... I've been sacrificing a lot. I've been buying properties, uh, putting them into rental in order for me to, to secure an income, knowing that in the end, I will officially build my own my own dream house. So I needed to secure some few assets before I know a dream house like this also it needs a, a management. It needs to be, especially the interiors will be very expensive, will come in very costly. So I don't want to do all those shortcuts. I want it to be a dream as I'm seeing it from my dream. So this is how it's going to look like when it yeah, gets yeah. finished. Yeah, that's the 3D part of it. That's This is the front side of it. So it's on unit 187. So to those who like to do investigations, they can also investigate fairly. So yeah, <laughs> we have nothing to hide. All right, all right, all right. Um, it's amazing. This is uh, which which this is a rear view. Is is it? Uh, we will it be the which side? This one is the front side. It's the, the the garages are four. It's two entrances left and right. So yeah, this is also the the front side of it. You will also see other parts. You know how the plane is. They can't show everything in one picture. They'll be showing you part by part. So yeah, you'll be seeing also other parts. All right. Um... So this is the other side also. This is the back side. Not necessarily the back side, but the inside of the other side. The inside of the other side. Yes. All right. Um, tell me, where do you get the money to build the such a massive such, house? Uh, master class, masterpiece. We call it masterpiece. Yeah. Where do you get yeah. the money? At your age, you are 29 years old. You just celebrated your 29th birthday. And uh, you already owning um, such a masterpiece. Where do you get the money? Uh, they all know I'm doing cryptocurrency. I'll still repeat. I would choose cryptocurrency any day, any time, over anything. Um, my journey started with online businesses and cryptocurrencies. So I know where I started. Um, it wasn't an easy journey, but through consistency, persistency, and dedication, I made it through. But I I don't have any other ways of saying uh, uh, my money comes from this, my money comes from that. It's strictly cryptocurrencies and network marketing. I don't have any snake or any drugs that I'm selling. It's strictly purely cryptocurrencies and network marketing. You just so mentioned. Started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just mentioned that uh, you do not have uh, any snake. How do we know that you do not have uh, a cobra or a big mamba <laughs> there in your um, in your cupboard? I mean, this is amazing. Um, why other people cannot um, achieve the same results that you are achieving? Few people are doing what you are doing. What's the secret? There is no secret. People who are unable. If there are people who started the journey same time as I started, they remained consistent as I, I was consistent, dedicated and disciplined. There is no way that they wouldn't be where I am. So sometimes some, they give up along the way. You know, companies come and disappoint us. And then some people give up. Oh, no, I don't want to do these things anymore. Hey, we have lost money. We have been losing money. You know better, Elson. We started from those days of triple M. We have lost money we have lost relationships with people but it is what it is we cannot just say we are giving up on our dreams because of the circumstances of this and that the journey continues so we have to stay consistent in what we want to achieve so it's about having a bigger vision having a, a strong determination of yes, where you're going determination and your why must be bigger than your fears so some people are being delayed by fears you know once they start uh, um 
experiencing experiencing difficulties within a company or a, co a particular coin start losing value they give up you know they have a giving up spirit it's not about that a giving up spirit is not a, a road to success so we have faced difficult it's a, a successful journey is not a smooth journey it's not like an exponential graph where it will be just shoom going up it does not work like that we have had our ups and downs you know you especially in the crypto field there were some years which the market was was just bloody we lost our asset we couldn't even take out anything from our our asset because we were sitting with losses but because you hold we held on to those assets we couldn't sell at the loss eventually later we smiled because we recovered so some people most people they're not um they're not killed because they they are not doing what i'm doing it's a matter of um you, they are not giving you are you, you, it's a matter of not giving up being consistent um being persistent and being disciplined so yeah that's um, still the project yeah all right uh, welcome to empire crypto tv we are live here with our hosts for tonight our guest is uh tembi poshia shilenge from crypto dimensions she's one of the leaders in the crypto space you wouldn't uh, talk of leaders in south africa without mentioning her name she has uh, uh, met her mark in the space and she's doing a great things she's making things happen She's here with us, guys. If you want to ask some questions, please do so on the comment section. Do engage with us here, guys. She's uh, here. She can respond to anyone. So do not miss this opportunity to talk to one of uh, the multimillionaires in the space. Remember, if you talk to a multimillionaire, it means you also can get closer to being a multimillionaire. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no <laughs> doubt. You're rubbing shoulders. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, uh, welcome, welcome everyone. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe on our channel. Go to Empire Crypto TV and subscribe. This video is going to be shared. It's going to be on our channel um, on YouTube. So if you want to share it with others, please uh, yeah, first subscribe and then you can be able to share it. Tell me before we go any further you i see there is another property across your site where you are building your mansion that's yes. a property who owns that property do you have any idea and uh, what's the value of uh, that property across the road i've not met the owner but um it's a black it's a it's black owned property the guys are zonga they are from limbobo the value i've seen it from the market already the value is uh 38 million rent so which is also good for my own property which is front opposite the very same property um yeah so once it's time for evaluation we all know the goodness about what happens when you build a property next to a high valued property so it also gives value to my property so my 8 so million will later be something very very huge you know who knows maybe 20 million who knows so um you uh you are going to live next to the big fish i'm um, going to be living next to a whale a very big <laughs> shark <laughs> indeed it's a it's a well it's a big yo, shark. It's, this, this house is a, it's a yo i i don't know how to explain it like seeing it every day is my view like you know whenever i go inside i'll be seeing this house i'm like yeah no my dreams are valid it's indeed possible so it motivates me it it brings so much power in in my motivating spirit so yeah i actually get motivated if, every time i go on site and i look at this house it it gives me hope that my property before, also yeah before we go um out of uh, this uh, house this property what's what's the neighborhood like what do you love what do you like about the whole neighborhood what's the what are the attractions uh, around this neighborhood firstly i love water um if there was a beach around Houting, i would definitely build my house next to a beach so i i love it because it's next to the dam so that's why i chose it i love water i love nature so hartebias is a very it's not a city it's not too much uh long towers you know you get to enjoy nature very well when the sun it's sunny when there's rain it's just you know 
rainy. So yeah, I love nature and water. So that's why I chose Hartebius as my best option. Best stuff. And I see your other property here. It's a uh, sort of uh, a complex, so to say, but we have designed it in your own way, in the in a very different way. Tell us about uh, this property and what's your interest and why did you choose uh, this design on this uh, uh, land? This one, when I started building, it, people thought that building is cool. Um, it's 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 rentals. It's room for rentals. They are bachelors. I build them in. In the wood, it's an area called Harangua. It's not really Harangua, it's between Harangua and Roslyn. So these ones are just for rental. It's not, it's a commercial, strictly commercial property. It's for rental. So it's about 22 units, and then each of them is 2,500 per month. So this one. 22 ones, units? It's, yeah, 22 units, and then 2,500 per month. And it's in the wood. It's All right, have you started? Um, in the city. I see. I see it looks like it's still under construction. When is it finishing or it is? No, no, no. We are already finished? we are already done. What's left is it's, it's some carpets and, and the pavement. I think I've sent you the video already where it shows nests uh, accommodation and some pictures. It's where, where it's already done. I already have some few tenants there. Amazing, 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 amazing indeed. Uh, great, 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 great. Um, are you sure you, you, you're 29 years old or something mm. is, uh, did uh, maybe your parents didn't tell you the right age? <laughs> um, the way you think, the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Sometimes it's overwhelming, I know. Um, yeah, now at least I'm 29. Before when I was still 25, it used to be, you know, like her. Huh? She's 25 and she's a millionaire and she has this, she has that. So at least now it's getting, you know, it's getting better. It's it's matching my age. Now I'm approaching <laughs> my 30s, so it's good. All right, now, Christopher, uh, tell us about this uh, property. It's also your, your other property, which is different from the first one. Talk yeah, to us about this, this property. This was um, my first property. This was my first property, which I bought it in 2016. It's an R, it was an RDP. Then I modified it. I developed it. I, I did some renovations on it. I changed it. Um, I, it's now on rental. So when I bought it, um, another thing, I, I grew, you know, the, the, the pain of growing up without a home. I'm not saying I grew up without a shelter. I grew up without a home whereby I lived in my grandmother's house with my mom and my siblings. So that's also motivated me, you know, let me buy houses, let me buy homes and stuff like that. So some properties, when I bought them, I'm like, I want to make them homes, but I ended up, you know, you can't have 10, uh, five homes, you only need one home. So I ended up uh, developing them, renovating them into rental properties. This one's also, the, here we were doing a grand opening. It's Shilenge Mansions. It's one of the properties also, which I bought in 20, this one I bought it in 2017. It was also an RDP. I modified it and I built rooms around, 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 around the RDP so that it can, yeah. This one's also a for rentals. Every month it's 1,800. So on this one, I have about eight units. The RDP, I modified it. It brings 3,000 every month. And the rooms, it's 1,800 every month. So here we were just opening after the buildings and everything. We did like a small family get together. See, that's my son and that's my fewer smaller circle we did a grand opening you know thinking uh right, you know, um, we in those we believe in so yeah we're just doing something giving and grand opening for the for the rooms all right no i see i see since you spoke about family let me yeah. put you into the corner are you are your family happy excited and are you also um tucking them along this journey with you yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially my cousins. We are all in crypto. So to those who are not, it's it 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 simply means they don't want to be because I've taken everyone with me. I've 
I grabbed their hand and I walked with them through the crypto journey because I cannot just put them into properties. Properties need funding, so they need to start with crypto. You know crypto, you can start small, grow, and then once you make enough income into crypto, you can now fund your dreams. So I've shown them the way, and then they're with me now into the crypto dimensions. We are growing together as a family. So you're not leaving anyone behind. You do not I want cannot to be afford, seen the only I cannot person. afford. No, no, no. I cannot afford to leave. Though their success hasn't been on the spotlight. You know, if these things is a journey. So some people will say, but why you? It's not, I did not, I did not wake up to be me or to be on the spotlight. It took time. I, I, I walked through a journey. I've worked for this spotlight thing. It's not uh, an overnight success. So them too, they understand that they need to start somewhere and then as long as there's someone whom they look up to, at least there's a, there's a closer example, someone who can walk with them through the journey. People like us, we do not have people like that. We had to watch from far to get be, to, to be motivated from far. We do not have someone who just pull our hand and walk together and show us the way. We had to learn everything ourselves. We had to do our own researches and stuff like that. We had just had to learn from public. We do not have our own closer role models. So what I'm trying to say, I'm a role model to many and at least they, I'm closer to them. They can see everything from me. I can lead them by example. So it makes it makes their journey very much easier than it was harder for me tell me are you do you get into these properties uh with the partner or as partners or with a certain company with partners or it's just an a loan investor or an individual effort what's what, what's your strategy in the real it's estate? a trust it's it's a trust i get into it as trust it's a family trust Okay, all right. Yeah. No, Christopher, we are live here at Tempa Crypto TV. We are hosting Tembi Shilenge here. She's sharing her journey, how she has managed to grow a proper portfolio. So let's learn together. Let's tap into this uh, learning mode. Let's uh, get all these strategies that she's using to accumulate so much in a short time. A space of time. I would say it's a short space of time. I mean, it hasn't been so many years, Tembi. How many years have you managed to put together all this uh, portfolio? But it's, it has been quite some time. Five years is, is long, Elson. Why are you not say, why are you saying it's a short space of time? It's five years. It's long. Well, look, um, others, they spend 40 years <laughs> or even 50 years until they buy their first property. And you are talking yeah, about five yeah, years no. and you accumulated <laughs> money to build your portfolio of uh, 12 properties. <laughs> you understand? So <laughs> yeah, it no, depends how you. you look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I get you. Yeah. No, crypto is the fastest growing industry, guys. So, yes, there are businesses which grow faster, but... Uh, I don't have so much experiences with other businesses, but I would choose crypto any day, any time, anyway. All right, tell us about this property. I see there is green there and uh, there are people there. Uh, is it also one of your property? And when did you buy it? Which area was your inspiration of uh, on this property? This one I bought it as a home for my mother. This one is it. It's the property which I bought for my mother last year. Was it last year April? Yeah, bought it last year April for her birthday. So yeah, this is my mother's property. We used to live in the wood. So this one now it's it's one of the developed. It's 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 based in one of the developed. Uh, 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 um, can I say cities? It's in where is it? It's in Karen Park. Karen Park is Wonder Park, Pretoria North Side. So. It's 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 not in the wood, but it's in it's in town. Like yeah, it's in town. So the house belonged to this man. We bought it from this man. This man from this one who was in who was an actor, right one. So we bought straight from this guy. So the house belonged to this guy, and then we bought it from him for two million rands. Two million yes, rands. Are you still paying the bond, or you bought it cash? No, no, no. It's cash and carry. We don't do bonds. Cash okay, cash. so you went there carrying the the cash. <laughs> 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 when we say cash and carry, Elson, we mean like not installments, not credit. 
they give you bank account to transfer the whole amount and then yeah they do the, pro- the, the transfer processing and then within two to three months we get the, the, the title deed and then the, uh, the house is officially ours absolutely amazing absolutely amazing um that's why i think i saw a post whereby you were saying one of the bank is having problem with uh your banking with me, yes they you know yeah so i i, I because also they're not benefiting the same... you know they they always prefer us to take loans yeah 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 look it's always that way i also had the problems with uh with the, with the same bank where they had to close my profile because of uh, these mm. transactions that uh, are, are huge especially in the from the crypto mm. space they end up like yeah. you know what we, we we have a problem but anyway um would you consider going to hotels like Jara's, uh five-star hotels um or are you there already um i'm not yet the tap i haven't really tapped in into hotels but i have um a property which i use it to run bnb i use it to run a bnb for short rentals it's in the blight there's a lagoon in that property it's normally people go for holiday because of that lagoon i i bought it last year also i'm using it for for bnb so per night it gives me like two thousand rent so it's all actually always almost fully booked because the the, the place it's, it's a very trending place lately people love it so people love to go that side because of the 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 the, the, the lagoon lagoon is more like a beach it's it's an artificial beach so yeah that's where i started but i i actually want to tap in into greater fields of 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 holiday houses of of hotels and stuff like that especially in the coastal coastal areas like Debe and cape town yeah all right so you're also looking into expanding out of uh expanding, out then, yes. you know going into Deben, cape town because yeah, I, yeah. I, I hear there's some good investments of opportunities in those areas as well yes yes areas which are next to the coastal there's always greater opportunities for 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 holiday rentals so you can never go wrong yeah that's still my mom's house the one i bought for her last year it's in current park our uh, chantel wonder park site how many how many rooms are here how many bedrooms it's a four bedroom uh three uh three lounges and two dining rooms one kitchen one scullery study room and double garage and also there's a pool the yard is very big when you host parties when you see us partying especially last day used to do many parties so we would be partying in this in this yard it's a very so, peaceful house how how's your mom how is she taking all this you know um success that you are going through that you are bringing into the family how is she feeling has he ever you know shed tears to say i never knew you would be this successful successful you know, yeah she uh, she does especially when she explains our past to my friends she always she always cries like you know this is the journey we had to walk through where we started i was selling vegetables to raise my kids who were in the village you know we did not have a house we were staying in my grandmother's house you understand all those uh family house politics when you buy something we have to share with everyone yes sharing is good but you can't even you know the little that you have you have to just compromise for everyone so yeah the journey wasn't easy so every time she has to explain it to my friends because i i made you know once you get successful you you start making new friends because you want to also tap into newer greener pastures so those of my friends who don't know who don't really know my history and where i come from she normally explains to them once she start explaining jay she just cries so yeah Mm, that's uh that's everyone's dream uh every mother's dream to have a successful family have successful kids you know um yeah i think she knows when when you were born she knew that she was carrying a gold in you <laughs> a and mind you, i'm so a first born so i was a first experience too so it wasn't easy i'm a first born at home Mm, great stuff and uh, this one is also yours i believe um yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. this one um 
I did not build this one, but I had to buy the, uh, the, the owner wanted to be bought out. He had problems. It was during all those COVID-19, uh, when, when those COVID-19 started. So he sold it to me and I had to buy it because I saw it's in the hood also. It's in Mapopana Block B. I saw the area is next to go, uh, police stations or clinics, pharmacies, you know. So I saw the market attraction for this one. So I had, even though I did not understand much about that wood, but I saw what it was surrounded with. So I had to buy it, but the owner was desperate. And then it was a bargain. I bought it for 800,000. It's, um, it's 14 units per month. One unit is 2,500. All right, uh, there is a fan there. Fans uh, says Rwanda wants Tembi. Have you been to <laughs> Rwanda before? I haven't been to Rwanda, but I have a team. I have a network marketing team in Rwanda. So, yeah, I do have fans in Rwanda. So, I, I know who are these ones. All right. Thank you so much uh, for watching. We are still live here. What you just have to do, please uh, press the share button. Invite your friends. Invite everyone. Tembi Shilenge is here. She's here to share with us how she has managed to grow her proper portfolio up until... This time, property number 12 is in the bag. Property number 12 is in the bag. Do ask you some questions, guys. Do say something on the comment section. Ask some questions. How did you make it? What, where are you going? I need those type of questions. Let's understand. Let's learn from her. She's here with us. Tembi, I see you want to take over the Gassi. You want to take over the whole location? I can see. I am not playing in Gassi. They know me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trending. When it, when it comes to, I, I know you. You in Gassi, yes. Um, we it has its own disadvantages, but the beauty is that when you get your money, you get it fully. There is no, you know, the Gassi rates. They're not as bad as in the city and in town, and the electricity is not so expensive. So. When you beg your monthly your monthly collections, your monthly rental collection collections, you beg it fully. So on when coming to Kasi, I do not play. I know what grew from Kasi. I know what I made from Kasi. That's why even when I expand to cities to towns, I do not I do not leave Kasi. I will still buy or still build units in Kasi. So there is a big opportunity for investors in Kasi. You know, you buy these uh, houses, you renovate, you build more uh, backyard houses, and then uh, you start renting them out. And then you start collecting some cash. It's just yes. as easy as like that. It's, it's as easy as that. And with Kasi, you can, it's not like in the cities. You can start, I started with as little as 80,000. I bought an RDP in 2016 for 80,000 in Kasi. I bought it for 80,000 and I modified it, I renovated it and I started building back rooms. This one also, but this one I did not build it. I bought it. The, the buyer had to sell it. So because of it, I'm a, a Kasi lover property, so I had to buy this one also. I bought this one, but um, it's going to be in my mom's name. So yeah, she'll be managing this one. And this, this one is, is uh, in mm -hmm. is in Murula San. It's it's a casi. It's around Mawapane, but in Murula San. It's All right, and home. this is income, and you're yeah, yeah, getting income. income every month yes, from uh, these yeah. properties. Yeah, every month. This one, I think every month she gets like two thousand per room. But this one, as I said, I bought it from for I bought it for my mom. She's the one who's managing it. So every month she gets like two thousand rents. So these rooms are about eight. There's eight rooms and there's a, a Magula store also that paying rent. I think Magula they're paying like three thousand five hundred. And then there's uh um, the ones for for society like for burial society also they rented. We have ones which are for for residentials and then we have about four outside outside the yard we are which are for like stores so we have magula we have a saloon there's a girl who rented also a saloon and then there's um one for burial like they are doing like a burial burial society and there's another one which is empty maybe if we can get someone who's looking to to sell something can rent it out in the very same property here all right, tell me something. Who's managing these properties for you? Uh, obvious, this is business on its own. Do you yeah, have yeah. sort of um, um, estate agent who's managing the whole 
portfolio? Uh, do you have accountants? Do, what, what's the setup like in terms of uh, management of uh, this portfolio? Okay, for my as for for the ones in Kasi, I have an agent whom I started with. There's a guy who fairly helped me to buy. She, he, he was the one helping me to buy properties, getting transfers, you know, stuff like that. So he's actually, I came, when we met, he was the one, he was an agent selling properties. So later I employed him to manage my properties, the, my rental properties. So the, the rental uh, um, monthly fees are paid into his account. He gives me my lump sum. He has his own charge. But the, if I tell him who per month my room is 2000 maybe he will make it to the 2200 2300 2.5 whatever and then they will all pay into his account and then he will give me my lump sum so i have the one who manages focus is a black guy whom i met when he was helping me buy a, an rdp then i later employed him to manage my gas properties and then i have a white guy who manages the ones in the cities like the ones from Pretoria East, the one in Vonderboom, the Blyes, you know, the ones which are, are millions, yeah, those higher level properties. I have a white guy agent who manages those ones also. It's not easy. You can't, when, when, you, are, when you are still starting bit by bit, you can manage them. But once they become too many, especially when you have a business, another side business like myself, I still have my crypto academy. I still have my network marketing business. So it's not going to be an easy journey. So I had to find a property management agents who does the management. All right. Um, and this one, um, it's uh, also one of your property in your portfolio. Tell yeah, us yeah, your I have inspiration a unit. on this property. I have um I have a unit here, a two bedroom unit. Um when I bought that one in the east for me to stay there, but I couldn't stay there because of my movements and everything. When COVID-19 started, I wanted to settle down, but that one in the east was already rented and I couldn't terminate the contract. So I had to buy this one, a two bedroom for me to live here. So I've been staying in this one until I moved here in RDBS recently. So I've been staying for like two years in this one. It's a two-bedroom unit in Vonderboom. It's not a luxurious, because people were, 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 were confused. You, you, you claim to be large. Those who knew where I stay, you claim to be large, but you are living in one of those complexes. Where whenever they come to visit me, they will be like, no, Tembi, what a disgrace. But I knew my plans, and I knew I'm, I'm a property mogul. Like, I own property, so I'm not shaking by what they think. I knew what I was doing. So I knew eventually I'm gonna build my dream home, but I cannot just build it overnight. And I don't like renting out a property. So I'd rather buy a property. So I had to buy this one for 800,000. I think it was early 2020. Then I moved in, I've been living in this one from then up to recently where, until I moved in into RTBS. So yeah, that's one of So what's happening with this one? Are you renting it out now or it's still empty? Yeah, yeah, I'm renting it. No, 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 it's 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 not empty. I've already found a tenant. My agent helped me. I've I have a tenant right now. The tenant pays me eight thousand five hundred every month. So it's it's also generating an income. All right. Who inspired you to get into real estate property and uh who gave you that inspiration instead of uh, getting into another industry, maybe tax industry? Or <laughs> what, what, so, who are you looking up to? Mm. To be honest, I, I, I was not looking up to anyone, but the, 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 the pain of growing up without a home was my biggest motivation. So when I started buying all these properties, I especially when I started with my first property, I wanted to make it a home. Yes, I developed it. I, I renovated. I renovated it. We lived there for some time, but I felt no. Let's upgrade it to a better home. Then I bought my second one, but I don't like the the, the thing of selling, reselling a property. Then okay, once we bought the second one, that first one we what we turn it into 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 an investment. Then it becomes a habit. This thing it's it's it, it it becomes a habit and it becomes an addiction. So I bought my third one. And then I started reading more about property investment. And the guy who helped me to buy my first property said, um, you, 
if you bought a property, it's not advisable for you to sell it, especially in the very first few months or few years which you've bought. Let it gain value first. Then I decided, while it's still busy gaining value, while I'm waiting for at least a ROI, let it be rented out. I cannot just be waiting for it to gain value while there's no one living in it. Then I had to start renting them out. Then I grew my portfolio from there. All right, uh, we are live here with uh, Tembi. She's sharing with us her journey, how she has managed to build such a massive portfolio in the real estate. So yes, uh, if you also want to become rich, you also want to own a real estate. You also, also want to get into that industry. Ask some questions. Let's engage on the comment section. All right, uh, Tembi, I've uh, heard people saying um, they invest in international markets also, international real estate. Has it ever come to your mind to also look into such opportunities to invest in international markets or are you still a local person? No, no, no. I'm still local. I'm more of a local, but I've also invested um, internationally, especially in Dubai. I've invested in an apartment in Dubai. Uh, the name of the building is called Millennium. I did my investment. I think it was 20 before those COVID, COVID, uh, COVID-19 started. I think it was 2020, early 2020. For the reason, another reason for me to start investing in Dubai is... Uh, um, I needed, as you, you have seen, I've been traveling to Dubai more often. So this thing of always doing a visa, you know, every time I have to do Dubai visa in order for me to enter Dubai. So I needed like a permanent residence. So one of my friends, Abasi, who's in Dubai, advised me, you don't have to buy it cash, put a stake, buy some stake, stake of shares in, in, in building properties and then own a particular share. Yes, they might not give you permanent residence, but at least they can start giving you a 10 year, a 10, a 10 year uh, Dubai visa and then you can start growing it from there. So I've invested also in the Millennium um, a, a properties in Dubai. I put in something like 20,000 US dollars. So in rents, how much is it? 300 and something thousand rents. Tell me, have you ever considered uh, flipping houses, um, like uh, buy houses, renovate, sell, buy houses, renovate, sell? Because as I'm listening to you, it looks like your strategy is uh, um, holding, buy and hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are not, you are not learned, trading, you are buy buying and hold. And hold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm more of a buy and holder, but I'm honestly looking into doing the buy and sell i had to accumulate few assets in order for me to live a legacy so when you do buy and sell yes it's good income but while you are in that process you can't live you understand so i want to live something i i want to own some few assets before i i tap in into buy and hold so that i can leave something should we don't know tomorrow should anything happen from happen to me tomorrow i know at least i've left some few assets with my which my son can take over from you get what i mean mm, 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 yeah yeah mm. yeah 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 nice one nice one nice yeah. one nice one all right um there you are um i bet it's uh in your neighborhood yeah, yeah, this is this, yeah, um, this is my this is the back at the back of my yard. This is we have a dam, so it's a cruising day at any time. So anytime, any day, just if you live in the site, if you don't own a boat, very soon I'll be buying my own boat. I'm just settling in. I'll, I'll be. I have to buy. So normally I'll just go at the back of my backyard and I will find some few friends. They will rent me their boat because I don't own yet a boat. But pretty soon I'm gonna buy my own boat. So yeah, I'll be cruising at the back of my yacht with my own boat. So this is me and my my kids at the back of my yacht cruising around with a boat. So yeah, that's why I love RTBS because you can do water activities. I love water. So there's a dam, we can cruise around, we can do some water activities. So All this right, is so... one of the holiday homes I have. Okay, t tell us about this. Um, I'm wondering, 
what um where is your property and what's happening what's your interest and inspiration on this uh um on this property okay this one what attracted me very initially when i bought this one it was to do like holiday rentals what attracted me is the lagoon they have an artificial beach they have a lagoon so i bought this initially my goal was like i want to do short short rentals holiday and which is exactly what's happening now people are renting it out two thousand per night in a month it's more like more than twenty thousand because it's almost always fully booked even if you can check online you go on or on our booking.com or you go on airbnb you search the blights you will always see that it's always almost fully booked so i bought this one specifically for for short rentals uh investment for 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 bnb so it's specifically for bnb it's a two-bedroom apartment which is running as a bnb mm. All right, uh, there is a question here. Someone, uh, it's a silly question, but uh, let you respond to it. Uh, let me look for that question. There is a uh, living stone is asking, are you married? You are so beautiful. You saw also those <laughs> pictures where you are in the, in the, on the, on the boat, in the water. So yeah, and you are glowing. It looks like uh, mm -hmm. money makes the world go round and is asking are you married soon to be married okay so you are taken you must forget I'm about taken. uh fully taken <laughs> uh, okay what if he, he brings more money i mean he, he brings millions um won't you <laughs> won't you no amount of millions <laughs> he can bring <laughs> So it's, it's not about money. It's about, it's uh, about money. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hopefully he's listening. He's going to look somewhere now with these millions also. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. So this is, um, of course, next to your uh, BNP. Next or to something. my house. Oh, okay. oh yeah 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 this is it, it's it's actually where my, my my apartment is based this is the yard this is the lagoon i was telling you about that people go on holiday in these apartments because of this lagoon it's like an artificial beach so you'll be seeing nice content slave queens are taking nice photos here you know it, it, it makes them feel like they're in the beach you know in Houghton we don't have a beach so once they go into this area they feel like they're actually in the beach because of the, the view, the water, you know, the soil, like they made a beach kind of content. So that's what attracts people to go in these apartments for holidays. What sort of a strategy do you use uh, for you to choose a property, you know, or you just randomly choose a property without uh, following a certain principle, a certain strategy? What, what what exactly um, inspire you to buy the next property? Okay, when I'm when I'm in the wood, obviously I would check the main route. If the property I'm buying in the wood, especially if I'm doing it a commercial property, I would check how far is it from the main road. The 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 the, the, the schools nearby must not be too far from the schools. Also things like bo the garage, the petrol station garage, some some shops. You know, we have local shops like bo you save stuff like that when I'm buying in the wood. So those are the kind of things I check. But in the cities, I have no problem with that because an apartment in the city, you buy it from a developer or already, you know, it's it's in the up market. So I have no problem. But when I'm buying in the wood, those are the kind of things I check. All right, um, we see you there in the balcony, up there. Yeah, in Tell my us new about house. This. Oh, is this your new house? Where is mm -hmm. it? Where, where yeah. exactly is it? Is? This one is, is the one I'm currently in right now. It's in Harte Bieste Islands. I bought this one some few weeks few weeks ago for three million. It's in the Islands Estate in Harte Bies. So um, yeah. just, uh, just repeat, how much was it, the value? Oh, the will is three million. I bought it for three million. It's a it's a three bedroom um it's a three bedroom townhouse. 
Okay. What inspired you to buy this house? Uh, because I believe you are building another one next to, uh, in the yes, same area. Yes, absolutely. Um, is it uh, being, um, what inspires you to buy this one? Okay. Um, I wanted, actually, I know I'm not a person who likes to rent out. Though I checked if I could find something I can rent out nearby. I wanted to be closer to my project so that I can be, you know, checking monitor it and everything though i'm not managing the property like to buy material and stuff like that but i just wanted to be closer to my dream house so i bought this one and then my 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 my, my goal also is not to resell it so once that of once my dream house is finished is done i'll move into my dream house and rent out this one the value for rentals in this area for this house is 22000 so i saw it as a good investment return it was a it, it was a it was a very very fair return of investment three million in a month to uh, twenty two thousand so for me it was worth it should I later sell it in the later stage but for now I cannot start by selling it I I wouldn't have made much gain so while I'm waiting for the value to get to where I want it to be I will be renting it out for twenty two thousand every month. We are live via Tempa Crypto TV. We're talking uh, real estate uh, with the fast growing real estate mogul. So, yes, do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Go to Empire Crypto TV and subscribe so that uh, you have access to all these videos that we upload. And of course, we did another explosive video with Tembi a few months back. You can always uh, go onto our channel and check that video where she dropped some bombs, how much she's worth, how much she has accumulated in this space. And of course, how many countries she has traveled in a short period of time. So yes, do not forget to check all this information. It's gonna inspire you to take action, to take the next step towards your dream, towards your goals. All right, uh, Tembi, as, uh, when we see you, we see someone who's uh, full of life, someone who loves partying, someone who loves uh, friends, family, someone who's always there in the open, who's not shy of uh, the streets. Um, now, buying a, a property in Haritis, how... It is going to affect you in terms of um, in terms of uh, your social life because these are quiet places. These are quiet areas. I do not see you fitting in very, very, um, you know, very early into those areas. I are you, are you still there? Did you get me? Yes, Tembi, are you there? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, I'm saying um, you are a social person. Hello? People who love... Yes, can you hear me? Uh, or you can't hear me? Is it my problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, can. Can you I hear can. me? No, no, I can hear you now. All right. Okay, Krista, I'm saying you are a social person. People, yes. someone who loves people, someone who loves friends, someone who loves family. And uh, you, we see you partying on your uh, videos. Yeah, that's true. How is it going to affect you, especially coming into this area um, where there is uh, so much peace, is quiet? Mm -hmm. Isn't that going to affect your life? Actually, that's not really going to affect my life because it's not too far and I'm still mobile. So let it, let it, let me not be in the center of all these activities. Let people also miss me. Let me go. I don't want to be too much accessible like I was. My level also has leveled up. I, I, I cannot just be seen, you know, like that. I don't know if you get me. Accessibility right. needs to be very limited to these days. Okay, but um, um, if I am to ask you this, uh, it, I believe your, your main foundation comes from uh, network marketing, 
cryptocurrencies where you have to interact with people, where you have to be there in the open, you know, with monies with people. Uh, but now you want to start living a private life. How is it going to affect you on your foundation um, uh, source of uh, uh, capital? All right, can you hear me? Uh, it seems like uh, she's uh, having some technical problems. Okay, are you still there? Uh, yes, uh, Tembi, are you still there? Or is it on my side? But I believe it's uh, still on your side. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? Can you can you say something if you are there? All right, uh, let's uh, let's let's just wait. She's coming back. Uh, All right, uh, she's going to be back. She's uh, just uh, uh, facing a bit of uh, a challenge with the, but uh, she will be back, guys. In the meantime, what you can just do. Yay, we on Asuka. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we are back here. We're still waiting for Tembi to reconnect, and she's reconnecting as I see here. She's coming back. In the meantime, what you just have to do, please uh, go on to our YouTube channel, Empire Crypto TV. We've got some amazing videos, amazing information that you can uh, uh, browse, learn, download, uh, learn about the whole 
uh, cryptocurrency market, the whole blockchain uh, market. All right, uh, there we go. Yes, uh, Tembi, are you still there? Are you still alive? Are you still good? I'm here. Yo, my network is acting up. Yeah? I'm sorry about that. Ah, uh, okay. So we thought maybe you jumped into the water. You said you love water, so you <laughs> might find out you felt the heat now. You wanted to swim. Lord. <laughs> All right, tell me something. Um, yeah. <laughs> as we uh, progress, we are about to wrap up. Um, um, do you consider, are you looking at uh, buying a farm, um, sort of a farm? You know, do you love farm, farming? or buying a farm where you can keep uh, animals and then uh, do some farming as well. Has it ever uh, crossed your mind? Because I see some of the guys in the space, or in fact, some of the people, once they start making money, they also look into farms for, you know, that environment of being in, uh, you know, in the bushes, in the forest, and of course, peace of mind, having your own land, which is a bigger land. Have you looked into that uh, um, scenario? I haven't really looked much into farming, but it's something which I, I, I would actually love to learn. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, it's something that you love uh, yeah, to yeah. learn. Okay. Yeah, I would love no, to please. learn. Yes, yes. All right, no, Christopher. Uh, let me... so um the next question that I have is um in terms of uh, your goals, your dreams. Uh, it seems you are a person who have got dreams, and we have got we have set some goals to say at this age I want to have achieved so much. What's your what's your goal? When you reach 30, you are 29 now. When you reach 30, yeah, 35, yeah. 40, how many properties do you want to be owning when you reach 35 or 40? What's your, what's your, what's your dream goal? They normally say life begins at 40. Um, mine at 40, I want to at least own about 30 properties. Uh, in, in in some of those properties, I need at least five hotels. So I'm already currently looking at buying a land in Mozambique because land in Mozambique is very, very affordable. And I want to build my hotel next to the, next to the sea in one of those coastal areas. So I've been doing my own research. So I've realized in South Africa is 10 times expensive more than in Mozambique. So I want to expand my hotel business my holiday business in Mozambique uh, next to the beach so I've been searching for few lands in Mozambique so once I get that land then I'm gonna build definitely gonna build a hotel in Mozambique so yeah that's also one of my biggest goals all right um so when you say you want to invest across the borders Someone, yeah. um, I came across said, you know what, I would not invest in another country. I would prefer to invest in my own country, in South Africa. In my own country. They feel like, yeah. uh, you know, investing in other countries is not something interesting. They feel like they are limited within the borders of uh, South Africa. Well, what would you say to someone? It goes further to to businesses itself, you know, there are people who believe that uh, when you start a business, it only have to serve local people. You start a business in Soweto, it remains in Soweto, or it doesn't even go to Cape Town. Um, in fact, it doesn't even go to No, expanding, it doesn't expanding go. in other countries, it's... Yes. I, I would definitely all right guys she is having a challenge with the um network uh she's having a challenge with the network uh she's staying next to water i'm sure the waters are swallowing the whole network but uh let's be patient before we close are you back uh i me. think i'm back can you guys hear me 
Ah, yes, yeah, we yeah. can hear clearly this time around. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying, yes, obviously you would prefer your own motherland. Uh, even me, I would first uh, 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 invest in my own country, but I've seen, I've invested already in my own country. Now I want to expand, I want to explore. I want to diversify. That's why I'm I'm tapping into 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 different countries. And another thing for me, like the reason I'm I'm choosing Mozambique is I've been doing some comparison. I need a coastal land. I need a land which is closer to the coastal side. So I've do, I've been doing my own research. And in South Africa, it's very very rare to find the lands have, have been occupied and to find it now it will be 10 times more expensive as to compared as compared to mozambique so i found a land in mozambique next to the coastal uh, area in ponto doro the land is uh 10 times lesser as compared to a, a land in south africa which is closer to 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 the sea or to the to the beach so yeah that's why i'm i'm opting for diversifying into a different country which is mozambique to to build a hotel there and on that case obviously you have done your due uh, research you have done the investigation yeah. the research yes and yeah. uh, the business is going to be booming that site looking at uh, absolutely um the absolutely. whole um uh, hospitality business so it's, yeah. it's, it's actually something which is going to be big Mm, mm, it will be the next biggest thing because people love going on holidays next to the sea as much as we want to do holidays um just in the center in the city and all that but holidays makes much more sense uh, next to the coastal areas and then you get to make more money that side as compared to the cities according to stats we've been checking statistics people go on people prefer holiday which is in the coastal side as compared to the city all right no Christoph, uh this is also another mixed masala question is uh what's your preference which one comes first bitcoin or property crypto or property crypto i would choose crypto any day any time anyway crypto Okay, why 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 not uh, property? Okay, I've I've in a in a in a short space of having both. Ne? Obviously, I started with crypto, so I didn't have experience in having properties. But in a space of having both with the same value, with crypto, I've made twenty times more than with property returns so that's why i would say crypto any day anytime though crypto is digital it's, it's not tangible it's not it's, it's yes it's something which you can leave a legacy onto but some people which you are leaving it for they might not understand so i'm building a property portfolio in order for me to say okay if i die Though, yes, I'm, I I will still educate my people about crypto. They can still take over, but they might not, you know, it might not make, it's about passion. It might not make as much sense as it did with me. So um, that's why I'm diversified. If uh, if crypto was as simple as property, it was like in an, in an open book and in, in the most tangible way, I would only do crypto. But at the same time, with the risks and with its... um tangibility and stuff like that i had to diversify into properties and all that but i would still say cryptocurrency is the best christoph any other business that you're looking into into getting into besides uh real estate and uh, of course crypto and network marketing any other industry as well where you are involved in I'm not yet involved in, I want to do beauty. I want to specialize in beauty. I want to open my own spa, you know, do, I have a beauty therapist, everything that has to do with beauty. That's, that's one of my, 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 my next uh, uh, goals. I want to tap into beauty. Do you see yourself being a, a billionaire in this lifetime? And uh, do you, have you given yourself a, um, uh, a sort of a, a target to say at this point in time, when I reach 40, when I reach 50, or when I reach 60, do you see yourself being a billionaire? I definitely have to be a billionaire in a, in, 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 in a space, in a pace that I'm moving with. I, 
uh, there's no doubt I definitely have to be a billionaire at least by the age of 40. I, it has to happen. I have to pull up my socks. I, that's, that's, that's one of my biggest goal. I have, I have to definitely become a, a billionaire because already I'm a multimillionaire. Then what's, what's the, the next status? I cannot just be a multimillionaire and die a multimillionaire. No, I have to get to the next level, and which is a billionaire. I definitely have to become a billionaire. I have to work hard since we are to, for that state. Since we are talking about your property and we have got so many properties, renting houses, do you accept cryptocurrency in your properties? Do you have, do you encourage your Hello? tenants to pay in cryptos? Um, I do, especially the ones of short rent or of short, um, short-term rentals for, for the BNB in the blight, I once received two payments in Bitcoins because also those ladies, they were, they were interested in what I was doing. So I had to help them, you know, do this open Luno, try to do some Bitcoin transaction and all that. That's how they learned because some people, when you teach them, they might not grab it, but we had to do it practically. I'm like, okay, I understand you don't want to risk with your money, but risk with my own my own rent deposit my own rent into luno by bitcoins and then pay me in bitcoins and then that was it they believed they immediately tapped into cryptocurrencies so i received two payments for airbnb using bitcoins but if i had a choice to receive like to say there's a system and everyone is, is, is familiar with that system of strictly uh, uh, cryptocurrencies i would prefer crypto over over rents, over fiat currents. You are a leader in this space and you guys always uh, emphasize people to have mentors. Who is your mentor? Do you have a mentor or you just uh, do everything from your own book? Who's your mentor? I don't do everything from my own book, but I don't have a mentor whom is holding my hand. I learn from almost billionaires, people who are already successful. I am, I learn from far. I don't have someone whom I say he or she's my closest mentor. She, 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 or he takes my hand, walk through with me. No, I follow a lot of successful people and I learn from them. So I don't have a specific mentor. I don't have that, that kind of mentorship like that. But I in follow especially on social media. I, I follow people who are doing well and I'm learning and I'm coping from those people. In your space, you meet a lot of uh, criticism, rejections. How do you handle those? You know, someone wants to get on board, but there are people who say, no, this thing is not going to work. Or, oh, you are back again with this thing of yours. Mm -hmm. How do it's you handle the rejections and criticism? rejection you shouldn't take it with emotions you you just simply take it as move to the next one um there is okay temba mokwan also is my mentor i forgot to say that one is my mentor ne? he always says no move uh, no uh, 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 means next one n for next o for one so when someone says no i don't want this it simply says next one so you move to the next one so criticism is always there. You shouldn't just take it with emotions. What you just have to do, take it like it is and then move, move to the next one. There's over millions and billions of people in South Africa. So you just have to keep on, on advertising. Some people, when they are post, when they advertise things on social media, their post doesn't get liked or doesn't get comments. They easily give up. You don't have to keep on posting. They are seeing it. Eventually they will come because people only always prefer to follow people who are consistent, leaders who are consistent. You cannot post about this today, tomorrow are posting about that, the following day you are posting. They want you, they want to see you consistent. If you continuously post about, about one thing for 90 days, there's no way that you won't see results. So some people get discouraged. Once they start posting this today, does not get likes or comments. They give up. They're like, ah, people are not interested. They move on to the next. It does not work. Like they see continue posting even if they are not reacting they're not liking they're not commenting but they see your post keep on posting they will eventually come people often follow people who are consistent 
in your journey, have you ever felt, because we hear a lot of uh, multi-millionaires saying, I've started more than 15 projects, more than 15 businesses. I felt in 12 or 14 of them, only one business succeeded. And um, here we are, here I am, because of only one business that succeeded out of all the previous businesses. Do you also share the same story, or it was all good game? gamer and kids on your side where whatever you are touching it tend to cold uh, uh it's not always whatever i'm touching tends to gold i started from somewhere i started being a nobody nobody knew me when i started this network marketing journey i did a bit lab I was not, a, I was a nobody there. Nobody knew me. I did not make millions there. I did Bo Questra World. I did Bo Future Net. I did Bo Triple M. I was just a, 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 an average person. I made my first million in, 20, in 2018 with Nexus Global. So for the past three years, I started my networking journey in 2015. For the past three years, I just worked. I did not make any success I, I i yes it was small small results not that i did not make any success but for me it was success because i would i would just make small small results but 2018 that's where my breakthrough that's where i saw my breakthrough i i became a millionaire in 2018 and then i consistently grow from being a millionaire to a multi multi to where i am now so yeah i've i've consistently worked through my my journey I did not give oh. up, though there were complications and some criticism, but I knew what I wanted. My journey did not, I did not want to just see only one million. I wanted to, to accumulate, to become, you know, and also to inspire many people. All right, there comes someone to you and says, I want you to be CEO of uh, a huge company, a big company. They've seen your qualities, um, they've seen your you know your power your strength your dreams and then they say we're looking for someone like you he has money we want you to be the ceo of the company or we want you to be to um to be an employee in this company but here's the man will you take that job or you want your independence i cannot work for anyone at at, at the level i am right now or no matter how how big the, the 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 position may be. I don't I don't want to report to anyone. So it might be a little bit of a challenge. What I get what I can do at at this stage is partnership, you know. But working for someone, no, I I don't think so. If it's someone's company and I'm a CEO, still I'll be working under that someone's company. You get what I mean? But with network marketing, I don't have a problem because it's it's my own time, my own sales, my own whatever. It's, it doesn't limit me. But with working, say I'm going to be a CEO, it's, it comes to too much responsibilities and some limitations. So I don't think I can be able to do that. All right. Let's say um, for whatever reasons, we have read stories uh, from uh, uh, multi-millionaires, even billionaires who have uh, lost it all. Should you lose it all? whatever the reason do you think you can come back from zero to hero again if everything fall apart at this point in time do you think you've got uh strength energy experience to come and make it back again to the top for as long as i'm not disabled i will still do it over and over again i don't mind to start from zero i will still be where I am today, I will still wake it all. So for as long as I have all the hands, I'm still uh, mentally, I'm okay. I'm not disabled. Uh, you, you understand, I can still start from zero and I can still do what I did. I can repeat it all over again. All right, uh, so um, at this point in time, what's so ideal? monthly earnings or yearly earnings that you are looking for or that you are looking at or what's your target? It, it might be something that you haven't really thought about to say, you know what, I want to go, grow to a, to a point where I'm earning 
20 million, 50 million a, a, a year or a month. Have you ever thought of that to say, this is my target? I've interviewed so many leaders uh, on this platform whereby someone says, currently I'm earning 2 million every month and uh, my goal is to earn 5 million every month. What's your goal? Have you ever had such a, a projection? I don't even know how much <laughs> I earn every month. And also my, my monthly earnings, they're not consistent. It depends. You know how crypto is. So I'm getting my source of funds from crypto. I'm getting from properties. But so far from pro from properties overall, it's almost 100,000 every month. So with my crypto portfolio, is not consistent. It depends on how much I want to earn. So it depends on where will I want to uh, take out profit. So sometimes I just don't even take out profit because I already have something which I'm, I don't have debts. For once, I don't have debts. I'm not paying any West uh, Union, what do you call West, for a car, man. West something. I'm not paying that um, West thing yeah, for a car. Uh, for I'm not paying yeah, any rent. Yeah. It's only the, the, the levies, the monthly levies and the, those electricity things. I don't have bills. Basically, I have no bills. So I just spend anyhow. Yeah. With, with yeah, yes, so I, don't much... have, I don't have debts. Okay, so you don't have so debts. I don't meaning get how that, much uh... I would want to in a month or how much. I, the money is already there. It's up to me how I want to use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the ending story of a stable, stable income is not really a problem for me. Okay, with but so I much... I um... said it's my, it's my priority, yeah. So with so much liquid money that is coming in every month, are you heavily investing in the crypto space? Are you buying different projects? I'm pumping. Or... I'm pumping my, 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 my crypto portfolio. As we are speaking, I don't want to disclose much, but my, my, I have a very, very fat a crypto portfolio. It's too fat. It's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than my properties. It's too, it's too fat. It's, you know, it's extremely fat. Okay, right. Um, your um commitments in terms of work is out there for people to see. People can see yeah. that you are a hard worker. People can Absolutely. see that you are going through uh, some flaws sometimes. You know, um, mm. through some criticism sometimes, mm. Mm. and mm. Uh, at the same time, you are making good money. How do you handle people who come to you and borrow money and say? Ah, uh, Tembi, um, you know, I'm I know your inbox is full, your WhatsApp is full, people it's asking obvious. for help, people, you know, wanting the money, not wanting the the how the how they means, are not what yes, you know, the how me they, they want just want the you money. to give them fish, not how to fish. How do you yeah. handle such? It's, it's not easy. Um, there's some who are genuine, you know, like they can't like old people, kids. Obviously, they can't do what I do. But with youngsters, I'm very strict. I don't, I don't just give out. I will just tell you this is the how way. If you want me to show you, I'll show you. If you do not want, you do not want. But with elder people, I, I, I have that empathy. I help elders and kids. I do help. So I normally do some charity works in my village for elder people and kids. I do, yeah. With elders and kids, I have that soft spot because I know they can't. The elders are too old to can do this. Kids, they don't know where to start. They're still, you, you understand? So, yeah. But with uh, a certain age group from 18 to 50, no, 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 I can't. I just have to show you the how way. So if you go for partying um, or in a restaurant with your team, with your friends, with your family, who pays the bill? Are you the one who's always taking the bill or you guys uh, contribute? Because there's a tendency of, uh, you know, when we eat and we know Temp is a big your fish, is a well. <laughs> you, we, we, when it comes to, to pay, when the time comes to pay, everyone can start getting bees on their phones. Everyone looks busy. Everyone looks <laughs> undisturbed, you know. And <laughs> then you like, the what, you know, what? So do you meet such situations as well? I do, but because most of, I, I normally make friends with business partners. So most of the time it will be business partners and then they're in my team. So I don't mind paying. I always do that. I pay. But if it's just friends outside business, we share the bid. We have to contribute no matter who's the largest. 
I cannot just be used like that. So we distribute the bill, we all pay. But if it's my team, I always take care of their bills. My team, my responsibility. All right. The next question is, uh, do you believe in grooming people in terms of uh, different traditional businesses? Uh, there are some young people out there who might uh, come to you and say, look, I've got this project and I need funding. I need mentorship. I need assistance in this project. Have you ever looked into that becoming a venture capitalist where you um, spot upcoming potential project and say, you know what, this is where I can put my money. This is where I can assist. Looking at uh, stories like uh, Mark Zuckerberg and all the other guys, um, uh, Jeff Bezos, he got a, um, a loan of uh, 300,000 US dollars when he started Amazon. Uh, even uh, Mark Zuckerberg also, he got an advance uh, on um, uh, when he was starting his business. Even uh, the uh, Nigerian billionaire, he also got a loan from his uncle. Have you ever been in a situation where you think, you know what, for me to expand my empire, I also need to invest in up-and-coming businesses? In small upcoming businesses. I haven't really been... A lot of guys who approached me is those who are in the music industry. So I... I did not show so much interest in, in the music industry because I don't even understand it. So, but it's something which I, 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 I wouldn't mind. All right, uh, guys, uh, she's uh, struggling with the internet. She moved it to a new area, which is uh, in Haritis. And then I believe uh, she's still cycling with the internet also. There's a challenge of uh, the connection, but uh, she will be back so that we can close. Do not go away. Let's uh, wrap up when she comes back. Let's wrap up when she comes back. In the meantime, go to our YouTube channel, Empire Crypto TV and subscribe. We always live uh, every day, 7 p.m. We are live. Do not uh, miss this opportunity to get mentored, educated on this journey. And of course, uh, on our YouTube channel, guys, there is a video that we did with Tembi where she dropped some bombs, where she gave us some insights of uh, how much she's worth. Go there on our channel, um, browse through all the videos and find Tembi Shilenge video. It's massive. It's it's amazing, guys. She dropped some powerful insights. All right. Um, as we wait for her to come back and wrap up, let's uh, be enjoying. All right, she's back. Tembi, I do not want to waste my time. Is I see your network there. Me. It's uh it's, it's not respecting such a multimillionaire. Yeah, <laughs> Delila the network. Yo, I'm telling you, you. Yo, this is bad. Yo. All right, um, uh, since we are back, let's wrap up. Please give us uh, some few tips with uh, words of uh, strength to to our listeners viewers give them some you know food for thought what they can expect in the industry and uh, what they can do for them to be you know they, they can't you know to 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 be in your journey and uh, to start seeing some results like you do
Uh, seems like uh, she's still struggling. Um, yes, Tembi. Um, Hello, Tembi. Yes, uh, are you back? Yes, I'm here. Mm. Yes, uh, can you give us some last words, words of strength for someone out there listening? Uh, your parting words, please. Okay, um, guys, in, in any businesses uh, that you do, it's always consistent. Yes, I know sometimes you might want to do multiple streams of income, multiple businesses and all that, but at least put more effort in one business until you see results. That's where you can start diversifying. Consistency. At least give yourself the, the first 90 days, the first three months before you can start giving up or, or, or before you can start saying you want to diversify into a different business. It's consistent, guys, consistent results. Success comes from small, small, consistent results that you you happen to, to, to make on a daily basis. It's not an overnight success. It cannot come as a lump sum and save room. It's, it's a success. No, it's small, small efforts, small, small, consistent results that you achieve on a daily basis. It will later amount to success. One other thing is discipline. You need to be very, very disciplined. You need to be dedicated. You need to be determined. Don't... Uh, don't talk about your business whenever you feel like it or when you're in a good mood or when you're when you are, you are, you are in a, a bad mood, you say you don't want to talk about it. You must be consistent. You must be dedicated no matter how tough it is. And the success journey is not, a, it's not an exponential graph. It has its own ups and downs. It has its own criticism and stuff like that. You just need to focus. You need to ignore the noise and focus on the goals. And then you need to Make sure your why is bigger than your fears. Because some of the things that delay us is having fear. I am fear what if people will say this. I fear what if the company closes. I fear what if the coin drops. Fear also. Always look at the positive side of things. We, we know, yes, there is possibilities of the negative side of things. But if we only focus on the positive side of things, we are likely to see the positive side of things. So what you focus on is what you give. If your energy is positive, you will get a positive energy. If you attract a positive energy, it's only positive energy you will get. But if you focus on the negativity, the criticism, it will delay your success. Yes, it's always going to be there, but you need to ignore the noise and focus on your goal. Christoph, uh, Tembi, Poshia Shilenge. Thank you so much for coming through onto our show. We really appreciate your time and uh, the information that you shared with us here and uh, the inspiration um, growing the portfolios, property, real estate. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. I mean, uh, achieving those things before the age of 30. 30 under 30. We need you on Forbes. We want to see Forbes. I don't know what uh, where are they. I'm but not gonna uh, give up course. until I see I see myself on Forbes. I, I'm working on that. I'm not going to give up until I see myself on the Forbes front page. I have to be there. I have to absolutely. Um, um CZ Binance just acquired uh, a piece of Forbes. So we're gonna see a lot of stories about crypto. So yeah, you you must also start moving around you know checking around um they might spot yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm yeah 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 i'm busy working on that yes i have to be on the forbes great stuff thank you so much uh people are saying welcome once again in rwanda they are calling you in rwanda um is your passport <laughs> in rwanda, they rwanda is calling you <laughs> <laughs> i also miss my international trips <laughs> all right um thank you so much Tembi, um, when are you coming back to the show? To where? To the show, to the show, to share some more insights about uh, um, wealth creation. When are you coming back to Empire Crypto TV? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to buy a car pretty soon. So, yeah, I, 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 will, I will share once I get that machine. 
So I'm buying a car pretty soon. Maybe I think around April. So yeah, maybe we'll meet we'll meet again in April once I have my my new machine. But you have got a car. I mean, why why, why do you need many? Yeah, cars? I need another one. Car. Like no, I I need I need a sport car. You know, the one I have is a big it's a big bash. Like it's, it's a family big car. You know, that car is too big for me. So sometimes I just need to play. You know, just a two seater kind of thing. I need a sport car like those flat Porsches. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. So give us an insight info. What car are you buying? Ah. Are you buying a McLaren? <laughs> no, guys, uh, I'm gonna like... come. I'm gonna come back again with a car. No, let's not spoil the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought maybe you want to be the first one to have a McLaren in uh, in South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it's highly possible. Why wouldn't I be? So let's not spoil the show. <laughs> All right. Now we're waiting. Thank you so much, Tembi. That was uh, wonderful. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Till we meet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for watching me, especially you guys from Rwanda and other countries. Um, Much appreciated for the support. And then, yeah, looking forward to work with you guys. I hope I'm going to inspire many of you. Um, If you need mentorship, I'm always available. If you need anything, you know where to find me on my Facebook page, my Instagram page. Those who have my numbers, you can always contact me if you need some maybe advices on the property investment or on some crypto uh, building uh, a portfolio kind of thing. You can always uh, contact me. Thank you, guys. Oh, yes. Uh, before you go, hey, you know, there's so much information. You once wrote on your Facebook that uh, if you are into property, do not put your... Uh, property under your name you must uh, put it under trust can you elaborate on that i know we we just uh <laughs> <laughs> but can you elaborate on that oh okay oh when you put it under trust it makes things you know once you die even if you left a will to say that property should go in your son's name but for it to be changed in your son's name you know there's transfer costs so you, you whoever you left you said the property, whoever you said should take over the property might have challenges with funds to transfer those uh, from your name to their name. Especially these days, transfer costs are a lot. I spent like 50000 only for the transfer costs. So when it's in trust, it will not need any transfer costs. And that's one advantage. So it's to cut off the transfer charges. If your will says your son is going to take over your properties, automatically it will be in your son's name. You don't, you don't have to do all this lawyers and they might end up scamming your kids during the transfer costs. People will take, will, 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 will take advantage and start t- taking the properties into your name or stuff like that. So when it's in trust, it's automatically in, in your kid's name. You don't need, they, there's no need for transfer costs and stuff like that. All right, there is a question there. Uh, Stanford says, uh, how much one can have to start crypto? But this one, you you two, you can answer it. (laughs) (laughs) You are the mentor today. (laughs) The platform is yours. (laughs) Okay, guys, uh, with crypto, you can start from any amount. Like it does not have like a limited, you know, say you need to start from $100. Any amount can buy a a, a, a portion of whichever crypto that you want to buy. can be $10, any amount, as long as an exchange says you can deposit a minimum amount of this much, depending on where you are buying it from. But with Luno, you can deposit $100 and start buying crypto. So there's no really a limitation it's one of the things which is open for almost everyone there's no limit say no crypto is for the rich crypto is that's what i like about crypto crypto is just for everyone it is it has cut it has cut those borders of saying these investments are for the rich you know we've used to shares shares will start from a big amount properties will start for a big amount. but with crypto it's for everyone any amount you can start tapping into cryptocurrencies all right, thank you so much. Um, we'll bring you back again. Hopefully, when you buy your um, your car, your yes, yeah, your your, your <laughs> dream car. I believe it will yes. be your dream car. <laughs> we yeah, can't wait. We can't be... wait. Uh uh-uh. uh uh uh. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Tembi. Thank you, guys. Bye. Super. Can you stand up? I see Bitcoin on your shirt there. Oh, Can yeah. You stand yeah. up. I want to see. 
Oh, so is that Bitcoin that you were talking about? <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. Slay there, slay there. Great stuff. That's Bitcoin, guys. Uh, He's showing us some uh, some Bitcoin. That was uh, Tembi, Poshia Shilenge, talking about uh, cryptocurrency market, network marketing, and uh, real estate. Building a proper portfolio. She's currently having property number 12. She just bought property number 12. So it's possible, guys, in this market. We do not want to be the people talking about the cryptocurrency market. We not talking about results, not saying anything about results. It's happening. People are making so much money. People are accumulating cryptos and buying assets. People are slaying out there. So also get involved. Start looking into your life, into your dreams. Are they tangible? Are your dreams realistic? Are you going anywhere? Are you going somewhere? Be real. All right. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Go on YouTube, Empire Crypto TV. Guys, to subscribe is free. You do not pay anything. There are no fees to subscribe. The word subscribe, it means you just go and subscribe. Then every time, whenever we go live, uh, you get that notification that uh, Empire Crypto TV is live and then you get to start watching the show with us. Thank you so much and uh, good luck uh, for the year ahead for 2022. Smash those dreams, smash those goals. Make sure that uh, you come up a winner. Thank you so much.